Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. Today is actually Palm Sunday um, for me. You'll probably get this on Monday um, of Holy Week. So this week, 5A religion, um, we were going to be reading a chapter a day from the Gospel of Mark and talking about it a little bit and might have a question for you after each reading of, the chap of each chapter. Begin with the Hail Mary. Oh, there's some Holy Spirit, anyway. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, M uh, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All righty. We're picking up at chapter 11, Gospel of Mark. If you have a, gospel, or a, a Bible at home, f please feel free to follow along or, or uh, just listen to the reading. When they ne drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethpage in Bethany, at Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you. And immediately on entering it, you will find a colt, which is a baby male horse, tethered on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here if anyone should say to you why are you doing this reply the master has need of it and will send it back here at once so they went off and found a colt tethered at the gate outside on the street and, and untied it some of the bystanders said to them what are you doing untying the colt they answered them just as Jesus had told them to, and, and they permitted them to do it. So they brought the colt to Jesus and put, put their clothes over it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. Those preceding him as well as those following kept crying out, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father, David, that is to come. Hosanna in the highest. We entered Jerusalem and went into the temple area where he looked around at everything. And since it was already late, went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, okay, so that would have been Sunday when he came in, right? He looked around at everything. Since it was already late, he went out to Bethany. So it's late Sunday night. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, this was on Monday, I guess, Monday night, um, he was hungry. Seeing from a distance a fig tree uh, in leaf, he went over to see if he could find anything on it. When he reached, he found nothing but leaves. It was not the time for the figs. And he said to it in reply, May no one ever eat of your fruit again. Saying to the tree, and his disciples heard what he said to the tree. The cleansing of the temple. They came to Jerusalem, and on entering the temple area, he began to drive out those selling and buying here. He overturned tables of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling doves. He did not permit anyone to carry anything through the temple area. Then he taught them, saying, "It is not, is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all people? but you have made it a den of thieves. The chief priests and the scribes came to, came to hear of it and were seeking a way to put him to death. Yet they feared him because the whole crowd was astonished at his teaching. When evening came, he went on, went on out of the city. So the people were astonished by Jesus' teaching. Astonished, I guess could go uh, either way, astonished could be good or bad, okay? 
This says, let me read it one more time, uh, verse 18. The chief priests and the scribes came to hear of it and were seeking a way to put him to death. The chief priests and the scribes and the elders wanted him dead. And then it says, yet they feared him because the whole crowd was astonished at his teachings. Yet usually indicates something that's contrary or different. So it seems to me that the crowds are in favor of his teachings, astonished in a good way. So even though they're astonished in a good way, they still, the old people and the chief priests still want to put Jesus to death, contrary to what everyone would probably want him to live. The evening came and they went out of the city. The withered fig tree, early in the morning, this would be again, that's Monday, this is Tuesday, I would think. As they were walking along, they saw that same fig tree withered to its roots. Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus said to them in reply, have faith in God. Amen, I say to you, whoever says to the mountain, this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not, does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it shall be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, all that you ask for in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and it shall be yours. When you stand to pray, forgive anyone against whom you have a grievance, so that your heavenly Father may, in turn, forgive you your transgressions. The authority of Jesus is questioned. This is verse 27. They returned once more to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple area, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders approached him and said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? These chief priests and scribes are probably the same that conspire and want him dead when he's kicking out the people that are doing business in the temple. <sighs> Even though the people have no problem with him. And what are you saying? By what authority are you doing these things? Or, or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me. And I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed among themselves and said, if we say of heavenly origin, he will say then, why did you not believe him? But we shall say of human origin, they feared the, the crowd, for they all thought John was really a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, we do not know. Then Jesus said to them, neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. End of chapter 11. <coughs> Recap. And I have a question at the end. In the beginning, Jesus comes into Jerusalem today, Palm Sunday. Yes, tomorrow will be your yesterday, right? And he's praised with palm trees and thing cloaks are put before the cult that he's riding in on. Like he's a big deal. The next day, he curses the fig tree. Okay. After that, he goes to the temple and he kicks out the people doing business there. And he upsets the chief priests. The next day, I'm sorry, following that, he goes back to the fig tree and he see, and he and the disciples all see that the figs and every whole tree has withered to the ground, nothing is alive. His disciples are shocked. And it ends with um, the authorities not being to answer, being able to answer Jesus of by whose name are you doing these things? What authority do you have to kick people out of the temple okay the question is this why does Jesus um, curse the fig tree 
Why does he cleanse the temple? And why does he reply to the chief priests with this last line? Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. I repeat the question, you can write it down. Why does he curse the fig tree? I think they're all connected. Okay, I think they, they does the cursing the fig tree, the kicking out of people of the temple, and um, does not answer the, the chief uh, priests and authorities, uh, doesn't answer their question, all for the same reason. The question is this, write it down. Why does Jesus curse the fig tree? Okay, the fig tree dies. Disciples are surprised. Why does he cleanse the temple? Why does he kick people out of the temple that shouldn't be there doing business? <clears throat> and in the end, the last uh, question is maybe the, the or la last part, <clears throat> is maybe the part that can help you answer this question best, is at the end of chapter 11. I'll read one more time. We do not know, the chief priest replied to Jesus. Um, and then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. How come that Jesus doesn't answer the chief priest straight and say that by my authority and by my authority through God the Father's authority did John the Baptist get baptized and I do these things? Try to answer that question and uh, we'll talk about it next time. Have a great week, Holy Week. Keep that in mind. Say extra prayers, help more, whatever you're giving up or whatever you're resolving to do. 